Not from Leicester, not from Kettering, and not from Northampton. Live from Market Harborough, this is 95.1 HFM. HFM weather in association with the new South Leicestershire Learning Innovation Centre. New location, new ways of learning, new experience for you. For more information, telephone free on 0800 731 6723. And uh, be talking to Alan Potkin. Alan, are you there? I'm here. Ah, I can hear you, Alan. That's great. Well, yeah, uh, I think this is a better phone. Um, yeah, I can I can hear you very well. Um, okay, Alan, I've um, um, I've got your picture up on the screen and, and a map of um, roughly uh, where you are. Would you like to describe that for our listeners? Whereabouts you're speaking from? Uh, Vientiane is the capital of Laos. It's about uh, uh, 500 kilometres north of Bangkok. Uh, maybe. Uh, 500 kilometers east of uh, of Rangoon, 500 500 kilometers west, 300 kilometers west of Hanoi. So you're sam you're sandwiched in between Thailand and Vietnam, are you? Uh, Thailand, Vietnam, China, and Burma. Yeah. Okay. So you're a bit, bit squashed in the middle there. So just tell us about uh, the work that you do, Alan. Well, um, my my background is as an environmental consultant working on water. Um, and more and more I was realizing that uh, the documents that we were publishing, uh, planning documents, uh, resources management documents, environmental assessments, um, were basically impenetrable um, to non-English speakers, pretty impenetrable to English speakers, and uh, were almost useless. Uh, yet the, uh, uh, the consulting world was generating uh, kilograms upon kilograms public paper documents that nobody was reading. Right. So uh, I became interested in how you can make uh, uh, documentation more understandable uh, to non-English speakers, to illiterate people, uh, to decision makers, and how you could use uh, information and communication technology, new media, to essentially publish documentation that would be interesting and compelling so that people would want to look at it and right. read it and you could convey what you're trying to convey. Well, it sounds very much like say, uh, out of sight, out of mind. And if you can put something into sight, it's not. It becomes in mind. It sounds very much as if uh, you're, you're, what you're doing is right up, uh, Carol, about all of our uh, other guest speech. Uh, what Carol was touching about on on her publishing of information. What Herbert was talking about with his uh, uh, with his publishing and education. What Jarty was talking about uh, with uh, with others. Sounds sounds very much. Uh, we're uh, we're all in the same street. Well, I think so. I mean, education is where, you know, is really, uh, uh, but what's, what's happened is that it used to be that the mass media, quote unquote, that was the, uh, the only vehicle that there was. And, and uh, the mass media um, in the capitalist countries became a captive of corporations with co essentially a corporate interest. Um, and in the socialist countries, it became uh, a captive of a different ideological interest. And the point is, with the technology that's available to us all, uh, the, the media is no longer mass. Anybody can uh, can publish, can broadcast, um, can can uh, acquire imaging and, and put imaging out there into the world. So it's uh, it's something new, and uh, uh, the opportunities for a vast diversification of media are just enormous. Uh, absolutely, and um, uh, we're going to be doing a program on Thursday, I think it is, on community publishing tools, which will t touch on this topic in, in more depth. Alan, I'm afraid I'm going to have to move on now, but...